Okay, guys. <laughs> How would that be for the whole fucking lesson? Okay, guys, now we're gonna do... That's, by the way, my... Uh, that was my Dutch teacher. Um, <laughs> let's get into this. Um, we're gonna play a little bit around with the tissue. Tissue add-on. And when you want to add an add-on, it's just in Edit, Preferences. Then this comes up. And you just write something close to tissue and you have this mesh tissue you just um, think it on and then it will end up somewhere here and we're gonna play around around a little bit of this and I think I'll make a few more tutorials with this um, but yeah now we're gonna create something like one of these and you can see that th there is a difference in between them so this is with sculpting and this is with fade texturing and you can see that with sculpting I did not really show it off right here but you can go a little bit more into depth I feel like into the model itself and with uh, the weight you can uh, create cool stuff like uh, smaller holes I am sure you can also do that here when you just go later on go into the weight tool but um, we're just going to do it very quick. I don't want to make this too long. I just want you guys to make something cool very fast. And let's just start. When I sculpt, I like to start with a cube. And why a cube? Well, if you subdivide this, it becomes a nice sphere. And as you can see, this sphere does have, not perfect, but has relatively nice geometry, right? And this is very good for our sculpting. So let's say we do the UV sphere. You can see that the size between this face, if we go to edit mode, you can see it a bit easier. This face and this face is totally different, right? They're not even close. And if we look more into these ones, you can see that, I have to apply it first, but you can see that the size between this and this is not that much difference. They are still quite squarish and you can see that yeah, this is of course a little bit different, but still is way closer than our trees here. Which will also cause problems when sculpting, okay? So that's um, that's why I like to sculpt with, yeah, more like this circle. So let's create a subdivision surface. I'm gonna do two higher and apply it. And now we can start sculpting. So sculpting... So with sculpting it's quite easy, we have this brush selected, which is our draw brush. And if you have your tool section open, you can see that you can change the radius, strength, direction, and that stuff. The direction you can also change with your control key. So now we are adding geometry, or now we are adding height, and when you hold control, or if you click subtract, then you go inside your model. So, um, yeah, let's make this one a little bit more complex so we can actually see what the complexity difference will be um, yeah just make some cool stuff here just going inside doesn't really matter just have fun with this guys it like who cares right I'm gonna fill this up a little bit where is our inflate here okay awesome so let's go back to our layout and let's look at this. Awesome. So we want to decimate this. Okay. Decimate. And the lower you put this, you can see that the faces change a lot. And every one of those faces will actually be a hole in our golden material. So change them to whatever you seem like is cool and then I'm gonna make it a dual mesh so the tissue I open the tissue here dual mesh and this will create a uh, another mesh and as you can see I'm gonna hide off the first one you can see that these faces are way different see and I like the way that they are created so we are gonna create a wireframe and now we can see all the holes and of course a subdivision surface to make them look a little bit nicer and I'm gonna also give the smooth shading with W shade smooth I'm gonna turn this off for a second and let's look at our model so here we have all these cool little forms right and I duplicated this and then just delete this wireframe and the subdivisions as well 
now we have those two models and we can give it some materials so I just did a very very easy materials by the way um, I just did this gold which is uh, just a base color is like this uh, do you want the hex code? Is this it, like I, I just randomly clicked to be honest? Metal all the way up and the roughness at the yeah, just a little bit more shiny, like oh, 0.15. Um, I didn't put too much time into this if I'm being honest. And for this white one, I created this material uh, that's just a base color, it's in the white, and uh, it's just uh, yeah, the roughness is uh, all the way at zero. Um, that, that's it. It's like very, very simple materials. You can, of course, play around, and I encourage you to play a little bit around with them. But um, this already gives a very nice and cool result, as you can see. So that happens with sculpting. If you want the size differences in between here, then I encourage you to do it in the weight paint method. So this method, I did not like realize it myself. It was actually uh, found by Zompa. 84 and he actually created this add-on so that is why I know this or how I know this so let's create this right now okay so let's add a UV sphere in here you can subdivide it once or twice but don't do it too high because it will get uh, yeah, very slow um, go to object mode and change it to weight paint and now you can see that we have some colors up in here Okay, so let's weight paint this. I'm just gonna put my radius a little bit down. Um, yeah, and the weight and the strength, I'm gonna just gonna put them all the way up. I don't wanna be too specific in that. And then just create a little bit of a squiggly line around. Okay, so this is totally optional. But um, if you want some height in here as well, then you can add a displacement modifier. And then just select your vertex group here. And now you can change, of course, the strength to however much you want it to work. And in the picture, like in the thumbnail, I did not have this. So you can leave it out and just do our other modifier. And then we're gonna decimate everything. So we have our decimate, and I will do it to triangulate, and of course do our group. So now if I do the ratio down, you can see that these go down at the moment, right? So these go lower, but I personally like it better if the holes are bigger on the circular pattern instead of the bumps outside. So you can just do this here, this invert, and it will invert everything. And now when you invert it, you can see that the holes get bigger here than here. Okay, so I think this is cool. If you're happy with it, just apply them both. And now go into your tissue and then do dual mesh again. Bam. This will take a little bit longer. And we can kind of hide off this one. And here is our dual mesh. Let's give this a wireframe. And you can already see some amazing stuff happening here. And a subdivision surface, of course. I'm going to duplicate this again. And from the duplicate, I'm going to delete the wireframe and the subdivision surface. So here, we just have to give these the same colors. So we have our gold here. And this one. And then just give them both a shade smooth. Let's look at our rendered version and here we have this cool result so as you can see you can do a lot of this i hope you guys liked it and yeah show me your renders i have a, we have a facebook group and i have way more free stuff on my website so check it out in the description below